So in this video, I would like to do a slightly more complicated example because it is two dimensional. Um, but keep in mind that the conservation of momentum is still true, um, regardless of whether we're looking at one dimension or two or three dimensional problems. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that we have a collision um, that takes place between two boats. Okay, so I'm going to draw the before on this diagram. So we have a boat like this that um, has a mass of three kilograms and it is moving to the right um, which is, let's say, east at three meters per second. Okay, um, and then we're going to have a second boat that is um, down here. This will be one kilogram moving with a uh, velocity of two meters per second north. Okay, so this is all before the collision. Then after the collision, what we have is the three kilogram boat is going to be along this 45 degree angle and it's going to be moving two meters per second. Okay, and then what I want to know is where is the um, other boat? So we have this um, one kilogram boat and its velocity is totally unknown. Okay, so we want to find the magnitude and direction of that. Okay, so the strategy here is exactly the same as it was before. We want the initial momentum to equal the final momentum. Okay, um, and not only that, that's going to be true in both the x direction and the y direction. So the initial momentum in the x direction equals the um, final momentum in the x direction, and the initial momentum in the y direction equals the final momentum in the y direction. Okay, so this essentially gives us two equations to work from instead of just one. Okay, well, let's consider the x direction first. Okay, so um, p initial in the x direction is going to be the p initial from the three kilogram boat in the x direction plus the p initial from the one kilogram boat in the x direction. Well, the three kilogram boat is moving entirely in the x direction. So that's going to be three kilograms times three meters per second plus zero for the other boat because um, the one kilogram boat is moving entirely in the y direction. Its x velocity is zero, so that doesn't affect the motion. What about final for x? Well, the um, final velocity in the x direction is going to be p final for the three kilogram boat in the x direction plus p final for the one kilogram boat in the x direction. Okay, so we know all the information about the three kilogram boat. Um, so that's going to be um, three kilograms times two meters per second times, well, if we want the x direction, that's going to be cosine of 45 degrees plus p final for the one kilogram boat in the x direction, which we don't know. But by knowing that the initial and final are equal to each other, we're going to get nine kilogram meters per second equals. So three times two times cosine of 45, I calculated ahead of time, that is 4.24 kilogram meters per second plus p final of the one kilogram boat in the x direction. So we get that p final of the one kilogram boat in the x direction is equal to nine minus 4.24, which is going to be 4.76 kilogram meters per second. Okay, so we know part of what the one kilogram boat is doing. Um, now we do the y direction. So in the y direction, p initial in the y direction is just going to be um, p initial of the three kilogram boat in the y direction plus p initial of the one kilogram boat in the y direction. Well, this time the three kilogram boat is moving entirely in the x direction ahead of time. Um, and so it has no y um, component. So that's going to be zero. The one kilogram boat is moving entirely in the y direction. So that's going to be um, one kilogram times two meters per second. And that's it. So two kilogram meters per second in the y direction. The final momentum in the y direction is going to be the sum of the two. So p final from the three kilogram boat in the y direction plus p final from the one kilogram boat in the y direction. We know all the information about the three kilogram boat. So that's going to be three kilograms times two meters per second. For the y component, this time we're going to want sine of 45 degrees plus um, the final momentum of the one kilogram boat in the y direction. Okay. So um, knowing that the initial and final are equal to each other, we have two kilogram meters per second as the initial. That's going to be equal to 4.24 kilogram meters per second from the three kilogram boat plus p final for the one kilogram boat in the y direction. So the final momentum for the one kilogram boat in the y direction is going to be two minus 4.24, which will be negative 2.24 kilogram meters per second. Okay, so what I want to do then is combine these two pieces of information to figure out what the one kilogram boat is doing at the end. Okay, so um, I know that in the x direction, we're going to have 4.76 kilogram meters per second. In the y direction, we have negative 2.24 kilogram meters per second. So then um, because those are perpendicular to each other, I have a right triangle. So the total momentum, if I use the Pythagorean theorem, is going to come out to 5.26 
kilogram meters per second. This angle comes out to 25.2 degrees. Okay, so that's the final momentum of the one kilogram boat. Uh, if we want to convert that into a velocity, um, which is typically the easier way to think about this, the velocity final for the one kilogram boat, uh, well, we know the momentum and it's only one kilogram. So that's going to be 5.26 meters per second. Um, and the angle is 25.2 degrees south of east. Okay, so that's the final um, velocity for that one kilogram boat. All right, so I want to just quickly go over what were the key ideas here. So we start by drawing a picture. Um, it needs to have both before and after. We say that the initial momentum in the x and y directions are equal to the final momentum in the x and y directions. And then we just write down what we know and solve. So um, there was a fair bit of algebra here um, and arithmetic, but ultimately the actual um, solving of the problem wasn't that complicated. It was all in the setup rather than in the solution where it was a little bit tricky.